we often think of freedom as something outside of us, a place without rules, a life without limits. But true freedom isn't out there, it's within us. And finding it, that's the challenge. The Stoic philosophers understood this deeply. They knew the world around us is full of constraints, restrictions, and obstacles. But they believed that none of this could truly imprison us. Why? Because real freedom is a mindset, an inner state of being. Today, we'll explore six dimensions of what the Stoics have to say about this journey to inner freedom. A journey that starts with facing our own fears, desires, and attachments. If you're ready for a journey into the depths of your own mind, one that may challenge everything you thought you knew about freedom, then join me. And if you're drawn to this kind of reflection, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay on this path with me. There's a whole world of wisdom out there, and together we can explore it. Let's begin. 1. The Illusion of External Freedom We often think freedom means breaking free from rules, responsibilities, or limitations. We imagine it as a place where we answer to no one, and nothing holds us back. But this freedom is an illusion. We're surrounded by things beyond our control, our circumstances, other people's actions, even our own bodies. The Stoics believe that we waste so much time and energy trying to change things we can't control. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, wrote in his Meditations, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. He was reminding himself over and over that no matter what happens around him, his mind is his own. The first step to true freedom is realizing that freedom isn't something others can give us or take away. It's a choice we make every day to free ourselves from the need to control the uncontrollable. Two, breaking the chains of desire. If we're honest, how many of us feel truly free when we're constantly wanting something? A better job, a bigger house, someone else's approval. Desire can be a powerful motivator, but it can also be a prison. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who was born a slave, taught that the more we want things outside of ourselves, the more we give those things power over us. Ask yourself, what is it that you want so badly that it controls you? Is it success, wealth, or fame? Or maybe something even closer? Someone's love, approval, forgiveness. The Stoics believed that our desires often make us slaves to the very things we seek. When we let go of the need to have or to be something, we gain a new kind of freedom. Freedom from the chains of endless wanting. So, next time you feel that ache of desire, take a step back. Ask yourself, is this something I truly need? Or is it just a craving that's taken over my mind? By releasing our desires, we take back control of our lives. We become free in a way most people never understand. 3. Confronting Fear Fear is one of the most powerful forces that binds us. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of losing what we have. But fear, the Stoics taught, is a projection of the mind. We fear because we imagine outcomes that haven't even happened, or we relive past experiences as if they're still real. In his darkest hours, Seneca, the Stoic philosopher and statesman would remind himself, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Fear is like a cage we build around ourselves, trapping us in worst case scenarios. But what if we face our fears head on? What if we acknowledge them, name them and ask ourselves, what's the worst that could happen? 
This isn't about ignoring fear or pretending it doesn't exist. It's about realizing that most of our fears are ghosts, shadows that lose their power when we look directly at them. By seeing our fears clearly, by confronting them rather than running away, we break free from the hold they have on us. 4. The Tyranny of Other People's Opinions How often do we act, dress, or speak a certain way because we're worried about what others will think? The Stoics believed that caring too much about others' opinions is one of the greatest obstacles to freedom. Epictetus reminded his students, If you wish to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. He knew that most people would rather stay in their comfort zones than face the ridicule that sometimes comes with true self-expression. Imagine living a life where you're no longer enslaved by what others think. You're free to make your own choices, not out of fear or shame, but from a place of truth. It takes courage to live this way, to walk a path that others may not understand. But once you stop letting others dictate your actions, you begin to experience a profound kind of freedom, the freedom to be fully, unapologetically yourself. When you feel the weight of someone else's judgment, remind yourself, their opinion isn't a law you have to live by. You're free to choose your own path. 5. The freedom to accept life as it is. Acceptance, true acceptance, is one of the most difficult things to practice. We're taught to chase happiness, to pursue goals, to constantly push forward. But there are times when life doesn't go our way. Loved ones are lost, dreams fade, and circumstances change. The Stoics believed that true freedom lies in accepting life exactly as it is. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together. This isn't about giving up or being passive. It's about embracing the fact that some things are beyond our control. True freedom comes when we stop fighting reality and start living in harmony with it. Imagine the peace of mind that comes with releasing the need to control every aspect of your life. The freedom to accept life's twists and turns without losing yourself in resistance or regret. That's the freedom the Stoics spoke of. 6. Practicing Inner Freedom every day. Freedom is not a destination. It's not a prize you win after years of effort. It's a practice, a daily choice to live in alignment with what you can control, to release your grip on what you cannot, and to understand yourself more deeply. The Stoics taught that we must train our minds, just as we train our bodies, to live freely. Each day we have a choice. We can cling to our desires, our fears, and our need for approval, or we can let go. We can choose to live in fear or to face it. We can choose to control others or to focus on our own growth. True freedom isn't given to us. It's something we create within ourselves. So I invite you to reflect. What choices can you make today to step closer to this freedom? What can you let go of? What can you accept? Each small step you take is a step toward a life where you are no longer ruled by outside forces, but by the strength and peace within. Freedom isn't a state you reach someday when everything is perfect. It's here, now, in this very moment, it's in the choice to release your grip on things you can't control. It's in the courage to confront your fears, to silence the voices that try to dictate your life and to walk your own path. The Stoics left us a roadmap for a life of inner freedom, a life where we're no longer slaves to our fears, our desires, or others' opinions. 
This is the kind of freedom that nothing and no one can take from you. It's the freedom to be fully alive, fully aware, and fully in control of your mind. So, as you step back into your day, take a moment to pause, take a breath, and remember you are free, as free as you allow yourself to be. Thank you for taking this journey with me. If this exploration of freedom resonated with you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more reflections like this. There's so much wisdom to uncover together, and I'd be honored to continue this journey with you. See you in my next video.